Japan is flourishing with all the successes in the field of robotics, with multifunctional as well as humanoid robots. The Japanese domestic market has already started using these innovative and coolest robots across all industries to boost productivity and enhance customer engagement. Robotics in Japan has successfully left the world in awe. Let's explore some of the top coolest female robots in Japan that have impressed the global tech market in these few years. First, we have Geminoid F, a robot created by robotics engineer and director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University, Hiroshi Ishiguro, in 2010. Geminoid F is by far one of the most human-like bots ever made. Chances are, if you pass this robot on the street, you'd not wonder if she's human or not. That's how realistic she looks. Even the name of the bot is suggestive of a human clone. Geminoid comes from the Latin word for twin, Germanus, and the F stands for female. This name is right on the nose. She doubles down on her very realistic face and body with a very lifelike imitation of human facial features. Her facial expressions are a result of profiling and processing of human facial movements and replication using multiple facial motors. Geminoid F is not autonomous though, and relies entirely on human control quite yet. This is not a particularly bad thing, and could help in pushing a safe image to the public, as we still are a bit spooked by autonomous artificial intelligence at the moment. With time though, we'll warm up to bots enough to feel comfortable around robots like Geminoid F. In 2003, Osaka University unveiled one of the world's most realistic looking female robots, Actroid. Now keep an eye out for Osaka University, because you'll be seeing them quite a bit in this video. Actroid, manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited, yes, the same Kokoro that developed Nadine, was a pace setter and one of the earliest humanoid robots ever. Its main selling point was how realistic looking the robots were. The silicone skin and well-structured face are quite impressive, and it still remains one of the most realistic robots to date. One big factor of the Actroid robots, however, is how accurately they can imitate facial movements. The cameras in the bot's irises are capable of relaying even the slightest of movements and allowing the robot to copy them, giving the robot a lifelike impression. In case you were wondering, the body is not just for aesthetics as apart from its face. It has more motors around its body, which allows it to make some of the most human-like gestures. This doesn't take anything from the value of the Actroid, though. The Actroid bots were created to test out the concept of robotic receptionists. At the time, it was a giant leap and really drew people's attention to the prospective value of humanoid robots. In 2011, Actroid F released both a male and female version of the bot, which Yoshio Matsumoto, Service Robotics Research Group Leader at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology said was because we often get asked why we made a female robot, so we decided to make a male robot as well. Are you enjoying the video so far? Don't forget to drop a like. Now we come to Alter, a robot designed and developed by the University of Tokyo and Osaka University. Alter was designed to be an autonomous bot capable of making pretty extensive body and hand movements. These complex movements are a result of neural networks that attempt to imitate actual brain neural activity. Alter is so independent it can, using a variety of sensors on its body, react to people and objects, and it's able to avoid obstacles all on its own. Pretty amazing, right? Well, there's one more thing about it you should know. It sings and dances, too. Nothing is neater than a bot that knows how to move its bootay. It also has sensors around it that enable it to detect and react accordingly to people around it. Perhaps sometime in the near future, we'd be lining up to go watch sold-out robot performances. Up next on the list, we have Erica, created conjunctively by Kyoto University, the Advanced Telecommunications Institute International, and, you probably guessed it, Osaka University. One of Erica's main selling points is just how lifelike she looks. She is the appearance of an attractive woman, which was a very intentional design decision. This decision is quite logical, as attraction is a factor that will likely help acceptance of the bot, which isn't so crazy as a conclusion when you consider that attractive people do get better acceptance and leeway in society, so it's not so far-fetched that it work for humanoid robots, too. 
Erica is more than just a pretty face though. Her autonomy and intelligence are straight up out of this world, and she is capable of keeping conversations while giving human-like expressions and gestures. As a conversationalist, Erica excels, showing an advanced understanding of speech and questions that not many robots can replicate. Head of the team that developed Erika is Hiroshi Ishiguru, director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, Graduate School of Engineering Science at Osaka University, who is known for his other works in robotics, most notably Geminoid HI-1, which is a bot designed in his likeness. While Erika may not be the most mobile bot, she definitely remains one of the most advanced. Next on the list is Asuna. Created by A-Lab and unveiled at the Winter Wonder Festival in Tokyo in 2015, Asuna is about as realistic as robots get in this age, looking strikingly human-like. She is designed to look like a teenage girl, and she nails the look. Her skin is so realistic, it fooled a reporter at the exhibition where it was launched into thinking it was a member of the AKB48 band, which is saying a lot about just how human-like she looks. However, Asuna is not autonomous, as she has to have the few expressions she has controlled remotely by an operator. Notwithstanding this, Asuna remains one of the most realistic humanoid robots on the planet. In time, we hope to see A-Lab develop on what is a great project. Asuna certainly has a lot of potential and may be applied in a variety of ways, from customer service to AI assistance and everything else in between. For now though, the company is content to nail the aesthetics and isn't too bothered about autonomy. It looks like they'll just take their time and not rush the process, which is always a good model to follow to avoid making mistakes. We are curious to see just how far Asuna goes, particularly considering all the other competition she has in this field. Last on our list is Nadine, Kokoro Company Limited's amazingly realistic, responsive, and social bot capable of maintaining conversations in multiple languages. And yes, it nails context too, which is not an easy task. Recalling and using previous memory and interacting with humans on an advanced level, she can also perform some pretty incredible complex tasks like reading, making calls, and sending emails. Nadine, whose software was developed by the Nanyang Technological University, was unveiled to the public in 2017 at the Human Plus The Future of Our Species exhibition at the Art Science Museum Singapore, where she became an instant sensation. She was designed to look like computer graphic scientist and roboticist Professor Nadia Magdanoth Thalman. Nadine is one step closer to having robots that can hold social relations with humans, which would be a major advancement towards the assimilation of certain jobs. Why do we say this? Because Nadine has already done some of those jobs. She worked as a receptionist for the Nanyang Technological University, and in fact, currently works as a customer service agent for AIA Insurance. So yeah, a future with artificially intelligent secretaries and receptionists is on the horizon. They make your food, and soon they'll be holding your messages. Sweet! That's all for now. We hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. We make more content just like this, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn on notifications to get alerted to freshly uploaded videos just like this from us. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you real soon.